Hello children today we are going to discuss multiple choice questions from class 4 so let's start question number 1 which picture depicts four multiplied by 8 means there are the balls and we have to see the four groups of eight balls we'll start from option a here we have two groups of six balls that is not the correct in the b option there are three groups of eight balls that again it's wrong in the c part here we have three groups of three balls this is again wrong now option d now we'll see there are four groups of eight balls so this is the right answer option D Now next question the lean started to jump from 200 with the regular intervals of 10 where will she reach after third jump here we have the four options so let's start from 200 after the first jump she will reach at 210 after second one she will reach at 220 then Finally after third jump she will be at 230 so children the correct answer is option C that is 230 this is the correct answer next question 16 zeros are 0 16 ones are 16 16 10s are 160 Then sixteen hundreds are. Let's find. Here we have four options, and from these four options we have to find. Here sixteen zeros are zero. This is the option A. Sixteen ones are sixteen. This is option C. Sixteen tens are one hundred sixty. This is option B. So sixteen hundreds are one thousand six hundred. So children in this question the correct answer is option D now next question is which statement is right for a flower pot that is equal to 5 means the value of a flower pot is 5 children to find the correct answer we'll start from option A 5 divided by 4 that is 1.25 this is not 5 that's why option a is incorrect option b 20 divided by 5 that is 4 not 10 this is again incorrect option c 5 multiplied by 6 that is 30 so children this is in the option c so the correct answer is option c that is 5 multiplied by 6 now 21 divided by smiley is equal to 3 now we have to find the value of smiley option a that is 5 21 divided by 5 is not equal to 3 now we'll move to option b then 21 divided by 6 is not again is equal to 3 now option c 21 divided by 7 that is the required answer the right answer is option c that is 7 next question think and answer 18 divided by 3 is equal to 6 18 divided by 6 is equal to 3 so let's see what comes here children it's the multiplication property now let's see what will come here 18 divided by 3 is equal to 6 then 18 divided by 6 is equal to 3 now let's see from these four option which is the correct answer yes it's 6 by 3 is equal to 18 this is the right answer that is option b so children that's all for the day now it's time for homework and your homework is You have to revise all these questions that we have done today and write down in your notebook. Thank you.